Hey everyone, Magic Lover recording a little Legacy one-on-one -on -one action here. And this is a keepable hand. I am playing my Living Wish Cradle Base deck. Uh, wish I didn't have that in my opener, but got just about all the other components, including half of the land Voltron combo, so <coughs> we'll start off with this. Next turn, my intent is to play both the Arbor and the Magus. Stomping Grounds. Ooh, red deck. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. I mean, turn three or later, I'd probably not take it, since I can chump out quite a bit. But this early, I am a little more comfortable not worrying about having to chump out. Uh, let's see... Wish I hadn't drawn a land there. It's interesting to note, if I draw any other, like a two-drop-ish kind of creature... Yeah, I'll take the damage. One mana, four power, lightning bolt. Um, I can... Ooh, there we go. Okay. Let's get... Um, hopefully he doesn't kill this creature in response. He doesn't. And now I am a <coughs> crop rotation or a living wish, or a naturally drawn cradle away from hardcast Amrakul. Which I think would be pretty spicy. On turn four. I mean, I'm definitely in the danger ground. He's got five in hand, I'm at twelve, and he's got two, two mountains, so I could be subject to the, you know, lava spike, lightning bolt, pyroblast, or not pyroblast, the uh, fire blast. But, let's see what he's got. If he's got price of progress, I probably want to... Keep the pressure on. And of course, if he pyroclasms, it's all over. But not many red deck wins, wins decks, main deck that, so I think I'm pretty safe for that right now. Game two will be a different story. I'll have to not overcommit to the board. Let's see. Attack with one in to get the exalt and he bolts in response. Yeah, I'll just go with all four. Minimize the chance of him tagging one. I am keeping this in reserve to fetch a basic if he has price of progress, so that I only have the two non basics. Volcanic fallout here would be devastating, but again, that's probably a game two worry. Huh. I'm actually beating him in the race, but he can finish me from 12 in one turn, I cannot. So I'll dump some pain on the end, flames of the blood hand, yeah. Four left, five. If he doesn't play a land here, I'm probably dead. No, he does. Good. Probably still dead. Rift Bolt. So this is my turn. I've got to draw here. 
That, interestingly enough... Hmm... Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Ten, seven... Eight... do, I'm going to put myself at risk here. And I am going to convoke a crater hoof. Calculate? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Uh, can I get Norn play? Four, seven, not enough to make a difference. Hmm. Wow. Tempting. Okay. We'll just play our way here. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. I think I was double counting the mana. It's too bad if I had drawn a cradle, a wish, or a rotation any time during this game. This would have been a pretty easy win. But, that's why you play the game. Um, hmm. This one's over. So pretty much these both have to be blanks. And that's probably not the case. And I don't have anything main deck that I can... Uh, I could get ooze, but... Can you really have two blanks? Wow. You did. Um... Hmm. Ten, so I can get a seven. That's a problem, that's not gonna help me. What does he have in here? He has two. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to swing. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm just going to swing with the sapling. Because I, my only prayer, I probably should have swung with that, is that he goes... I mean, I think he just would have finished me, so this has to be somewhat of a blank. And it's looking to draw here, and there's two, so it. Yeah, I can't even. Scavenging ooze, and then. Okay, two, I'm still at three. Yeah. I'm still dead to anything. Wow. Really? <laughs> That's pretty surprising. Um, ah, pretty far down. Okay, so things are coming in. Emrakul is coming out. Scavenging ooze is coming in. Uh, slime is coming. Actually, keep Nord on the sideboard. I still have the one maze. That's enough with the rotations. I still want to keep one in there for the wish. And yeah, actually, don't need the bog. I'll take the one extra maze and one less fetch. 
the mazes so I don't have to eat the damage off of Devil. Uh, what is this? Wow. Uh, everything but the cradle. We'll give it a shot. But I do get two bites at the apple. No one drop hurts, but I think I'll live. I am very surprised he pretty much had four blanks at the end there. Red deck wins does not get you to one and then whiff very often. Ah, that's a good draw. I'll take that. So I'll have plenty of creatures. Two here, two here, one tough to kill there. Hopefully I can witness back my Finks, or maybe even Cordon Norn or something. We'll see. Now I'll get rid of this annoying little thing. I'm actually going to lean out with this first, so he can uh, kill that response. That will be okay if he does. Boy, it's amazing what a cradle would do for here. Surprised I won that first game without it. No, my three still, I think for red deck wins, a little flooded. With not having missed a land drop yet. But he'd trade a couple of those for bolts and spikes and things. If he swings with this, I'll be thrilled, but I'm betting he won't. Ah. Mm. I'm going to take the pretty safe play here <coughs> and go for Finks. Oh, that's annoying. Good play. Does it in response? Nice. Hmm. Interesting. I'll gladly attack. I think that's a mistake. Oh, okay. I thought he was, uh, hitting me with that. Or hitting the sapperling, but he did play it correctly. Six, seven. I can cord another Finx, so I will swing with him. So you got two in hand of a five. I don't know if the right line of play is to do this now. before he's got the third card in hand, so I can only respond once. I'll probably go after this. Ooh. Well, that's not good. Um, hmm. That's an interesting one. I kind of don't have a choice now. Take six here, five. He's probably still got this. I have to be careful of that. That's the first time that's been played against me. In that form. Each creature deals one damage to its controller. Ugh. That was like the anti-my deck card. Yeah, I'm still at one here, so, you know. Oh, forgot this extra creature. <laughs> yeah. 
Didn't think about that. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Of course, I would like to see a cradle, a rotation, a wish. Any time in one of these three games, that would be nice. Well, there's the rotation and no green source. Be mulliganing that. Oh wow, three rotations and one land. Oh, what a joke! Fine, keep the one lander. Starting off on the play with five against red deck wins. Not optimistic. If we give him more than two time walks, the game's pretty much over. I'm curious what the blacks were the whole time. The Rakdos charms? Wow, the spike, yay. <laughs> okay. Bump in the night, the black lava spike. Great, he kept the one lander too. It's going to be an interesting game. What does he have to get to? Six? Okay. I get desperate. I could always crop rotation for a Bajookabog. But I didn't take both out. Oh! That's great. Sigh. Too bad, too. If we had gotten that, um, that land, this might have actually been a game. Between the Finks, the Witness, getting Garrick out online. But, uh, one land out of nine cards? How many are in here? Twenty-four? Yeah, that's a fail. Yay. That sucked. Well, sometimes, you know, you get owned by the shuffler, and that's what happens. Anyway, thanks for watching.